So once people get on my email list, um, the very first thing I do, the first email is entirely geared towards getting someone to actually give me a response. I want someone to hit reply to that email and actually engage with me. And so the way I've done that is, you know, you sign up and, you know, I give you whatever lead magnets, like here's your, you know, here's your bonus gift or whatever I'm offering. And then I say, I want you to hit reply right now and answer two questions. Um, the first is what are you struggling with? And the second is what does your perfect day look like? And so that's telling me one, that's telling me exactly what their problem is. So, you know, they're telling me it's like, this is the problem that I need solved or a variation of that. And it also tells me kind of what their solution is looking like. So I'm able to use that in my product creation and my marketing when I'm talking to them in the future. Um, those two bits of information are incredibly valuable for me, but it's also valuable for them because often they've never gone through the process of really thinking about it. Um, you know, they've never actually kind of said to myself, it's like, oh, what does my perfect day look like? Or, oh, like, I know that I'm stressed out, but what are these problems that I'm facing? Um, and then I do something that really takes them off guard and surprise them, surprises them, is I actually give them a thoughtful response. You know, whether it's myself or my community manager, we say, hey, uh, you describe these problems, I would go check out these resources. Or you're thinking about going down this path, you know, that's a perfect fit, or maybe this other path might be, you know, the right fit for you. So that's establishing the relationship, that's building trust. Um, I like to use the term surprise and delight. So when people sign up for my email list uh, or buy a product, you know, kind of things, providing things that are nice surprises that people don't expect. Um, all of these help kind of build trust and relationships. And so, you know, from email one, once you've started that two way street, it makes it a lot easier to not only, you know, help get them the results they're looking for, but also potentially turn them into customers as well. All right. That's really interesting. Um, just getting that insight. I think those two questions are great. The, the you know, the thing they're struggling with and then the, the solution as, as you put it, uh, like increasing the reply rate to that. Is there anything that you're, you're doing to encourage a higher response rate? Yeah. So a lot of it kind of comes in the call to action. So, you know, if you say it once and you're like, you know, I'd love for you to hit reply right now, answer these two questions. Um, you know, you'll get people that do, you know, maybe not as many people as you'd like. Um, but I always in the PS, I will add, yes, I'm actually serious. I really want you to hit reply. I would love to have a conversation with you. Email is more fun as a two-way street. This is not like most email lists that you sign up for. And most people are taken off guard by that. Most people haven't seen that before. Most people, you know, are kind of trained to be very cautious when they sign up for someone's email list. You know, maybe they've been burned before, or haven't gotten good information or whatever it might be. Um, so, you know, they, they come up with their guard high. And once they finally get to the point where they're like, okay, I'm going to like, you know, try this out. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to email this random dude from the internet. Um, that's when they end up, you know, starting to see, hey, I am a real person. Hey, maybe he can help me. He does get me. So that PS is key. And then also if they haven't replied, um, you know, after the first email, then in the second email, it's like, hey, um, you know, I was serious. I really want to, you know, have this conversation. That's going to be the best way that I'm able to actually help you and get you the results that you're looking for. And so usually that second or potentially third push, uh, they finally say, okay, I like where this guy's coming from. I'm going to give him a chance and actually engage him in a conversation.